The Calculate Depreciation Batch Job is the most important batch job, or periodic activity, in the Fixed Assets Application Area. It calculates depreciation for each FA depreciation book and inserts the depreciation amounts in the Fixed Asset GL Journal window. Phyllis wants to calculate and post depreciation on the welder. The depreciation period is one month, starting on January 1, 2011. Phyllis specifies the fixed asset number, the depreciation book, and the fixed asset posting date. If Phyllis leaves the posting date blank, the batch job automatically assigns the same date as in the FA posting date field. And if she doesn't specify a filter, the batch job depreciates all fixed assets. Once the Calculate Depreciation Batch job has been run, the system automatically fills in the depreciation amounts in the Fixed Assets GL Journal. Phyllis opens the Fixed Assets GL Journal's window to post the depreciation. The Calculate Depreciation Batch job calculates depreciation for each FA depreciation book and inserts the depreciation amounts in the Fixed Assets GL Journal window. The frequency of depreciation is user-defined. Cronus International Limited has had vendor Coolwood Technologies do some maintenance on the welder, and now Phyllis wants to post the maintenance expenses. Here, Phyllis can post maintenance expenses for the welder. She enters maintenance expenses in the amount of $639. Phyllis also specifies the depreciation book and the balancing account for the welder, and then posts the journal. Next, Phyllis opens the fixed asset card to see the posted maintenance ledger entry. She can use the value in the maintenance code field for filtering in the maintenance analysis report. The maintenance functionality enables you to post maintenance expenses easily, record the next service date, and estimate replacement of a fixed asset. The maintenance entries can be integrated with the general ledger, so you only have to post them once. Phyllis wants to answer a query regarding the welder and wants to get an overview of the fixed asset entries. Phyllis opens the Fixed Asset Statistics window to get an overview of all fixed asset entries. Here, she can see the acquisition cost depreciation, book value, and maintenance costs. Phyllis can see how the book value is calculated by selecting the book value field. The Fixed Asset Statistics window gives you a real-time overview. You can see, for example, the acquisition cost, depreciation, book value, and maintenance expenses. A statistics window exists for each FA depreciation book. Cronus International Limited has sold the welder, and Phyllis now wants to post the disposal value for the welder in a fixed asset GL journal.
The disposal value is $40,000. Phyllis also specifies the depreciation book and balancing account before posting the journal. The posting date must be after the end of the depreciation date. Finally, Phyllis opens the fixed asset card for the welder to get a final overview of all fixed asset entries. In the FA Ledger Entries window, Phyllis can see all ledger entries, including the ones created when she disposed of the welder. In the Fixed Asset Statistics window, Phyllis can see the latest data changes for the welder. When you dispose of a fixed asset in Microsoft Financial Management, many entries in the general ledger are created. If you have set up the fixed assets application area to be integrated with your general ledger application area, then all these entries are automatically created when filling out a journal line. The fixed assets application area is easy to use and can be customized and fully integrated with other areas of Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2009. The Fixed Assets Application Area saves time and frees you to focus on business needs because it provides real-time company values and makes it easy to generate business-driven reports. For more information, contact your Microsoft representative.